Alright, I'm gonna show you how I combine OneNote and Notion in this video to prepare for my semester next year. So you're probably having to decide for which app you should go, Notion or OneNote. And I'm gonna explain why it's actually the best to use both. Before we start, Notion, what is that? An app which acts as a workspace providing you with an all-in-one service for notes, organization, tasks, calendar features and more. Available on all operating systems, Windows, Mac, iOS, Android. So I'm gonna simulate now how I'll manage my next semester step by step. Let's say I have the upcoming lecture about the pathophysiology and the basics of the thyroid gland. I fill in the title in OneNote and import my PDF file. And then during the lecture I fill in my additional notes. Why don't I do this with Notion? Because Notion doesn't have the manual note taking feature with an actual pen included. I know there are some ways to do it with Notability and to import the manually written notes in Notion, but I think this way is easier. After completing my lecture, I open Notion and add a subpage under my semester block. Now in this subpage I write in the title, add a summary to this topic I got from a friend and this is just a bonus, I don't possess a summary of every topic. So after that I write questions to the lecture which I at the end of the semester use for active recalling. So why don't I do everything with OneNote? Well OneNote has a really good note taking system and the benefit is the endless space feature which I really appreciate. However, the lack of structure slows down your efficiency at the same time, especially during exam preparations. I realized this as I always wasted my time searching for the right key points like two days before my exams. There isn't really a way to sort the notes, which makes it hard to find the information you're looking for. That's why I use Notion to sort my notes properly by writing down questions to every slide of my PDF file. For the majority of the questions I don't add the corresponding answers, because I have them in my PDF file. So when I don't know an answer to a question, I just look them up in my OneNote file. For some questions I use the toggle feature, because there are times when the professor explains things I don't have in my PDF at all. Then right after the lectures, when the informations are still in my head, I fill in the answers to these questions. And it's important to not wait too long with doing that, because after 3 to 4 days you already forget everything you learned. You see all the informations are stored in your short term memory and if you don't document everything you'll never be able to make the jump to the long term memory. Alright, next is spaced repetition. Notion provides you also with great list making features. I for instance use this to make tables and write down my completed active recall sessions. This is the mechanism of space repetition. Here you can see some sessions I did and it's really easy to fill in more. So let's say I completed a repetition unit on the basics and pathophysiology of the thyroid gland. I did fine but forgot some things. So then I fill in three out of five and something which I really like is the opportunity to open these sections individually as pages and then add comments and pictures. You're able to be really creative with these features. The last thing I want to talk about is the overview and how you can create your own personal overview. In Notion you can set up pages, which can then be divided into more sub-pages and within these sub-pages you can create these inception-like sub-sub-pages and go on with that. My semesters are structured in such a way that I always have three to four subject blocks. Each block is subdivided into further subtopics. These subtopics are then further subdivided into individual topics. One such topic is the lecture that I showed you earlier, the basics and the pathophysiology of the thyroid gland. You see Notion provides me with the perfect functions I need for my med school. All these steps I showed you now, this is the way I do it with every single lecture. And I did this already during the fall semester in 2020. My upcoming exams will be in the beginning of January and I think I'll share my results with you guys so that I can prove that I'm not wrong with how I manage my med school using Notion and OneNote. Alright, maybe I managed to extend your view on these two apps and if you don't agree with something then write down in the comment section so that we can discuss it. Thank you so much for watching, also subscribe if you want to see more stuff from me and see you in the next video, bye!